Hi, everyone. It's Mr. Renner, and we are continuing our talk about city, uh, city council person has, has made a big difference. It is a story from our source book. And I told you last week when we were reading the first part of the story that um, every city in the country has a city council and that there actually are elections in Minneapolis right now. And I wanted to show you a couple of the people running in Minneapolis. So let's take a look at that, huh? So here is the first one. I got this in my email. This is a person named Katie Jones. It says up here, you can barely see it, but Katie Jones for Ward 10. Uh, Ward 10 is the area of the city that I live in. And they just tell you she wants a lot of people to vote for her so she can be on the city council to make laws and rules to help everybody in Minneapolis. This is, says here caucus for Katie. That's just a fancy way of voting vote for Katie. Of course, you can donate. Here's the tweet button if I want to tweet about her. And here are some ways, for instance, we can meet. She wants to tell you about her life and why she would be a good person to be in the city council. And of course, they always want to tell you about issues. Also, here are the things that she wants to do when she is elected. So community first public safety. This is about police in the city of Minneapolis and how to make sure the police do their job without hurting uh, people, homes for all. She wants to give, make sure everybody has a nice place to live. Transportation and public spaces like buses. She wants to make the buses better. Sustainability means that we don't harm the environment and make sure everyone has a good job. These are all things that she wants to do if she's elected to the city council. There's another person that was running against her though, and she also wants more people to vote for her. Aisha Chuktai for Ward 10. And it's kind of the same thing. We have a Facebook and a tweet thing if we wanted to join. She has a part of her page in Spanish. Caucus, again, is a fancy way of voting. And here are some reasons why she wants to be a part of our city government. And so here, her vision, these are the things that she wants to do. Again, some of the same things that they want to talk about. Transit, again, is busing, workers' rights to make sure everyone has a good job, racial justice, the environment, homelessness and houses, police and community safety. So it's a lot of the same things that they want to do in our city. So these are just a couple of the people that want the same job that Councilman Hass has. And of course, oh, there we go. So in the story that we were talking about, Councilman Haas also won an election and he gets to do a lot of the same things in his part of the city, in um, which his city is San Antonio. So turn to page 445 and we're gonna keep reading about what it's like to be a member of the city council and to be able to make laws and rules for everybody in the city. The first question, again, page 445. First question is, what do you do in a typical day? My staff and I try to solve problems for people in our district. For example, we try to get sidewalks fixed. That's a very important thing. If you work in the city, it's the city that has to make sure the sidewalks are all clean. We try to have trash picked up from places where it's been left. I have meetings with different groups then I meet with different city departments. On Thursdays, we have city council session. We talk about how to solve the city's larger problems. It's a long meeting. It goes from 9 a.m. until 6 p.m. So all day he's in a meeting with the other people in the city council. What is the most important issue you've worked on? I try to improve the community any way I can. I have worked to improve the roads in my district. This includes fixing potholes and bumps. I have worked on making the parks better. I've also worked on keeping the city's environment clean. Some of the same things we've seen in the web, the web page from the other in uh, Minneapolis. What bills are you working on now? A bill is what you have to write in order for it to become a law. So they're asking what law is he working on now in San Antonio? I'm working on getting a hike and bike trail. It will be free of cars. It will connect city parks. This will give people a chance to enjoy the parks. I think it's important for people to get outside 
and enjoy where they live. Here's a park that they have in San Antonio. What makes your job interesting? I like helping people. There are always new issues to deal with. Each day there's something new to do to help people. Since third graders can't vote, how can they make a difference in politics? Good question. Third graders can make a difference by talking to their parents and friends about safety in their streets and neighborhoods. Third graders can also help by working hard in school. Reading and writing are very important. Someday, you may be reading and writing new laws for your city council. That's true. In almost any job, you're going to have to be reading and writing. So that's a good thing you could do to get ready. All right, so here is your um, packet work for today. Councilman Hass makes a difference, is mostly about. And then they have these four pictures. It looks like he's giving a speech. And it says vote, vote, vote. So maybe this is about a campaign. Remember, all of these people who make our laws, we vote for them. So the person with the most votes is the one who wins. Here's another place. It's to me like people are voting. This says vote. City Hall, here's a big meeting. This perhaps is all of the elected people sitting down and deciding about laws. And here is a street. This looks to me like a street that needs to be fixed up. And here are the words, and you decide where they go. City council, campaign, community, elect, and problem. All right, so those are the, um, those, that is the packet work for you today. Um, I hope you have a great day, and I will see you all tomorrow. Bye.